joined on the phone today by Carrie Alexander and Chris Hoagie, members of the band Bad Bad Hats. They have a show coming up Saturday, August 18th at First Avenue. How's it going today, guys? Doing great. I got Chris here as well. Hello. Chris, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time out with me today. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks for talking to us. Well, first, guys, um, tell us a, a little bit about the band, Bad Bad Hats, uh, in case you know some of the listeners out there may not have discovered you yet. Sure thing. We are Bad Bad Hats from Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're like an indie rock, indie pop band. We started in about, in 2012, the band started at McAllister College. Um, Chris and I met our sophomore year, now 2010, started sharing some song ideas. And we studied abroad and were writing some songs. And we came back our senior. We decided to start a band. We just started with our friend Noah Boswell, um, who plays bass. Um, and then Connor Davison, our drummer, joined about two years ago. Um, yeah, the four of us uh, have played for two years. And uh, Noah's about to go to grad school in Denver. And so his last show with us will be our release show at the First Avenue Main Room. But uh, Chris and Connor and I are continuing on. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, and we uh, just put out our second album called Lightning Round. That's us. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you guys, uh, as you mentioned, you got a show at First Avenue on uh, Saturday, August 18th. And, you know, being from uh, Minneapolis, you guys must be pretty stoked to be uh, headlining First Ave. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's our, been our dream is to play in that room. And we've never, we've played there before, but we've never headlined. So yeah. we're pretty excited. A little trepidatious, but we think people will show up. (laughs) That'll be good. (laughs) Well, I got to ask, you know, being from the area, you know, some of your favorite shows uh, you've seen at First Ave. I know you guys have, as you mentioned, played there a few times, but I'm sure you've seen some great shows over the years. I think my favorite was seeing um, the Breeders at the main room. Um, That was a band that I really, really loved when I was first starting to um, write songs and, um, so yeah, to be I never thought I would see them. So to be able to see them and then also be able to see them at First Avenue was really special. Yeah. Um I think mine might be Robin. I saw Robin oh. play there a few years ago. It's like a huge dance party. <laughs> well, you guys mentioned uh, the new album Lightning Round. Uh, tell the listeners a, a bit about the new album. I know it's uh it's a bit different from the uh, f- from the first one you guys had. Yeah, in some ways the uh, um in some ways, it's very similar. I'm still writing the songs. It's my lyrics, and almost all the songs start the same way, where I, I have a classical guitar at home that I uh, write my songs on and come up with the melodies and the lyrics, and I usually have a full song with the guitar and my voice, and then I bring it to the to Chris and Con and Noah, and they help me um, sort of flush it out, expand the arrangement. Um, but Lightning Round... Um, that was the first album we recorded with Connor on drums, and that alone really, really kind of expanded um, our abilities and the sound. I think Con brings a lot of nuance to the drum parts, just like a lot of personality to the drums, which is really exciting. And also having him there sort of opened up, opened it up for the four of us to play more together in the studio. But I think Second Reader, we did things a lot one by one piece by piece, um, which in some ways I like because I'm a very, like, task-oriented person, so to, that's how my brain works. But for Lightning Round, Brett Boolean, our producer, our friend, um, encouraged us to, to go into the studio and play a little bit more, some parts together. So, um, so for instance, the song like 1-800, um, the drums and the bass, um, those are recorded together, um, which is really cool to sort of get that... Uh, get those instruments sort of like vibing off of each other in a take. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more like, in, like spontaneity. There's a bit more lushness, um, some more interesting production tricks. We had a lot more time in the studio. Um, but at the core of it is still my songwriting. So I hope, uh, film them for the old fans and film them for the new fans. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, it probably has a bit more of a spontaneous feel uh, recording it uh, that way. Do you, you guys think maybe that's the way you'll uh, try to do things uh, going forward? Try to do a little more uh, kind of live in the studio? Yeah, I think we're we're really excited about doing that, and we had a lot of fun. It was um, 
a definite challenge for us, but uh, we've gotten so much better in the past six years that we're we're at the point where it, you know you can build whole songs in in one pass, and that's really exciting to see that come together that quickly. So I'm sure we'll always add layers. We love doing that. We love recording a bunch of keyboards on top afterwards and stuff. But I think we'll we'll really dig in and try to do more live recording, especially for the basics of mm-hmm. the song. Awesome. And again, uh, Bad Bad Hats will be at the First Avenue uh, Saturday, August 18th. Uh, you know, I read you guys actually uh, got married during the recording of this album. Does that mean it's just uh, Bad Bad Hats 24-7 for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. We live Bad Bad Hats. Yeah, we got we recorded, um, we had a five-week recording session in April of 2017, and Chris and I got married in September of 2017. And right before... Uh, right before the wedding, Brett called us and told us that he was feeling like we should um, remove two of the songs that we had recorded and record more. And at first we were like really stressed about our wedding and we're like, we don't have time to do that. We already recorded it. But then once we got back from our honeymoon, we said, you know what, we could go back in there and see what happens. And I'm really glad we did because we came up with Nothing Gets Me High and Absolute Worst were the songs that we came up with in the second um, session, but yeah, we got married in between the two sessions. Um, I don't know if you can hear on those two <laughs> songs our married bliss, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. And you guys mentioned uh, No Boswell, uh, the bass player, uh, leaving the band here soon. How do you think that's going to change for you guys uh, going on as a trio? Do you think that'll uh, shake things up quite a bit, or? Well, it'll be it'll definitely be tough to not have Noah just because he's been you know he's been part of the band since the very beginning. So um, yeah, we'll really miss we'll really miss having him, and um, it'll be an adjustment for sure to not have him around. But we're really excited for him and really proud of him. He's pursuing his passion. He's going to be really great at it. So it's really nice to see him um, pursue that. But um, yeah, I'm we're we feel very lucky to have found Connor. He's been a great addition to the band. Um, he brings a lot to the band. Um, so, and honestly, like right now, we we've been um, we've had some friends who are filling in for us on both uh, bass and drums. We're going on tour, a West Coast tour, and um, Connor will actually be playing bass, and our friend Reese will be playing drums on that tour. So, um, we we're doing some uh, uh, some some old switcheroos. Um, for a four piece, but we are kind of excited to try a three piece for the future. Uh, it's tricky because we record the albums not as though we're a three piece, sure. more as though we're an eight piece band. So it's a little, always a little tricky to try to figure out how to play the songs live, but uh, it might be something we try to figure out. We'll see. Well, and I know you guys, as you mentioned, on tour and of course uh, playing at first half here on the 18th. Uh, also, uh, I read you're going to be coming back through Minnesota towards the end there in uh, in Duluth in October. So you guys kind of go in full circle. Yes, totally. We like to we like to play some local shows, some little uh, some weekends, and we really like uh, we really like coming up to Duluth too. Um, yeah. Well, again, I know you guys are busy. Of course, uh, lightning round is out, and you guys are on tour. And you guys are newlyweds. Uh, is there anything else yeah. <laughs> maybe in the works that you're going to try to fit in here in the near future? Oh, we got some songs left over from the album, so we are already looking forward to maybe putting out an EP or something in the in the next year or so. I don't know. We just have lots of new songs going, and uh, we keep keep writing them. Mhm. Yep. Some more touring, more writing. Yeah, it's good. To, it's good to be busy. Awesome. Again, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at First Ave. Lightning Round sounds great, and I really appreciate you taking the time out with me today. Thank you so much. Of course. Thanks for talking to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. And again, that was Carrie Alexander and Chris Hoagie of the band Bad Bad Hats. Their new album, Lightning Round, is available now, and they also have a show coming up Saturday, August 18th at First Avenue.